Hey, it is I, Dre, and welcome back to the game where we dig for fake gold for hours on end. It's Gold Rush, and today I have done another cleanout, and I want to buy another upgrade for our system here. If you don't know, uh, we're currently on pretty much everything tier 4, except for the bottom planters. Now, I was thinking about doing both of the planters at the same time, um, but I actually like the idea of maybe testing how much the upgraded planter will give us. So yeah, I thought we would buy one today. I think they're about 600k. I got 540 in the bank right now and a pretty major loan I have to deal with. So I did another clean out. Well, I'm doing another clean out right now. And uh, hopefully we can get, you know, two, 300k so we don't have to worry about that loan and buy that piece of equipment right away. Because having new toys to play with is always fun. And starting an episode of Gold Rush, getting gold is always fun as well. So yeah, we're gonna throw these things on. Like I said, I did a clean out here. We got some stuff now. Is my water going through the system? Huh. All right, well that was weird. It was on, but it wasn't on. So, uh, yeah. Way to conf confuse me, Alaska. God damn it. Watch the magnetite go up with this. This is the moss mat bucket. It is just going to rocket. I think this is gonna be a pretty good payout. Um, so yeah, we got uh, the planter buckets over here. I guess we could start those. I also got a full thing of magnetite. So, you know what? Let's just wait for this to end just to see how much magnetite I get, because I'm curious. All right, a nice, you know, stable 30,000 freaking grams of magnetite. Oh, it's nice to be a successful gold miner, i tell you that much. Okay, well, we'll save this one for last, because that's definitely going to be the best bucket. And uh, let's see what we got in this dirt here today. Well, it's looking like the planter buckets have nice, healthy 400 freaking grams of ma of gold. Not magnetite, I almost said magnetite. 450. I. It's been a while since I've last played Gold Rush, if I'm honest, so I forget how much we were normally getting with this new claim. Uh, but I feel like it was only like 300, so I think it's it's gonna be a nice clean out today. All right, we passed the 4,000 with that, so what was that bucket ending off with? 2,354. Now this one, this is gonna be a rocket. There we go, going up by 100 grams every second. That's always fun. Uh, it's not going as fast as I wanted though, but I asked for six. It's looking like I'm gonna get about six, maybe even a little less than that. Yeah, it seemed to slow down at the end there. The start of the bucket was really good. Wow. What the hell happened to that bucket? Well, that was weird because we had a lot of magnetite in that bucket unless I mixed the buckets up. So still, we got 5,400. That's decent. We got a lot of magnetite here too. I'm gonna throw that in the trailer before I forget. And yeah, let's go say hi to Mr. Blacksmith. Uh, melt this so we have some money in the bank. And uh, yeah, we should be able to get the upgrade, I think. Okay, the big question is how much did I earn with this? Um. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. Uh, so, quarter of a million bucks today, not bad for one day of work. Like, literally, that was only one clean out instead of the usual two that I do. All right, I thought it was 600K, it's actually 700. So, you know what? Danger's my middle name. We're gonna run a risk here, and um, we're gonna buy this thing just because I really, really want it. Um, that's gonna put me down to 78K, like I said, though. So basically, I have one day worth of money to pay off my employees and whatnot, so... <laughs> hopefully this goes quickly, because I need money really, really quickly. Now, I did want to show you guys something. There's actually, um, Steam Workshop support now. So if we go to the Workshop tab here, I actually downloaded one. Oh, it cost me a whole dollar. So yeah, I just downloaded this off the Steam Workshop. There's not many paint jobs there just yet, but this one looks pretty cool to me. But I think that's cool. Now, I hope they go a little deeper with this. Um, and wouldn't it be cool if, like, you could actually, you know, Steam Workshop some actual vehicles in this game? I think it would breathe a breath of fresh air into this game. So hopefully they go a little deeper than just paint jobs. But still, it's pretty cool to uh, allow the community to paint pretty much every vehicle in this game now. And it's nice to see something different for my truck for once. All right, and there is the beautiful beast. It's not that big, but it should be efficient. So, um, yeah, now we just got to install the thing. Hopefully that doesn't take too long because, uh, I got to work quickly here. Yeah, it seems so simple for 700k, man. I don't know who's making bank off these things, but I don't think it's worth that much. All right, so what am I in right now? Perfect. Um, so yeah, we got to obviously bring over the excavator. Um, just to update you guys, I've been just still working on this hole here and just kind of pulling it back. Again, the vein all goes almost to the middle of my claim, so it's pretty good dirt. Um, very hard ground to deal with though. I'm basically on a little mountain as you can see. Okay, and out with the, no, stop doing that. I want to go to this hook. I don't got time right now. I got to pay off freaking loans because I'm dumb and I'm not financially responsible. 
Of course, I have to use the longest freaking things. You freaking bat! Oh, so now, now, now you guys don't even want to hook to it? You bastards! Oh, okay, we got two. You know what? Good enough for me. I don't care. It's a piece of crap anyways now. I'm just gonna sell it. Oh, okay, I got a whole, a whole 110k for that. Alright, so that gives me a three-day safety net. I don't have to freak out anymore. Goodbye, planter. You did well. But uh, I need 110k more than you. Oh god, light, light, stop, stop, light, go, stop! Come on, man! Oh, Jesus. Uh. What? Seriously, where is my light? <laughs> is it over there? Hold on, I, I have to look at the map. I don't know where my light went. <laughs> okay, it's still there. It's the only thing that's broken on this. All right, light, I'm sorry I yelled at you and almost destroyed you. Let's actually appreciate you for what you are. Why can't I take- is that why I didn't do it? Because the battery doesn't come out? Is there any- is there even a battery in there? Oh, it's been a little while, guys. <laughs> I forgot I actually have to do things to take out the battery. Light. Like, seriously, you're- you're right on the ball hitch, my dude. Oh, yeah, the- oh, I'm dumb. I'm- I- I'm- I'm dumb again. I forgot I need to put away the legs. The great thing about that is I have no gas right now, so I was gonna bring it over to the gas thing, but I gotta bring the gas thing to it. Ah! There you go. Guzzle it up. Let's get you out there so we can actually see, because clearly we're gonna be mining throughout the night tonight. Alright, do you still work? Wait, oh god. Why is it not working? I totally screwed this down, guys. It, 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 it wasn't my stupidity again. It was, it was all its fault. There. Are you happy? Jesus Christ. All right, hold on to your light bulbs because we got to get you down here somehow. Why not just... Oh, actually, I didn't get enough speed, did I? Oh, God. Can we just leave it there? Oh, oh. Okay. You know what? That might work. That might actually freaking work. All right, a little bit of a tight fit here. <laughs> it's... I'm too lazy to move it. So, yeah. There, there we go. We have light. There we go. Just rotate it. Yep. That, that will do. I think. Come on. Nothing like manhandling a $700,000 piece of equipment. Just get in there! Thank you! Oh, it listened. Okay. That wasn't too bad, actually. It didn't take me too long, so now does this thing just need water? Look at the difference. So where the hell do the buckets go on this one? If I remember correctly, actually, I think I've had these. Yeah, they go right in the middle here. Now the electrical's right over here, so we'll plug that bad boy in. All right, we're ready to rock and roll. I think when we're ready to rock and roll. There we go. Um, well, we're not totally ready to rock and roll. To be fair, I have to uh, re moss mat this thing, but we're almost ready to rock and roll. So let's get out there, earn some gold, and test out this new piece of equipment. Well, I'm sure glad I spent all that time installing this light. <laughs> I mean, obviously, if it was that big of a deal, I'd move it. But um, I'm so good at this game. I mean, I'm not trying to say I'm like an amazing player of this game. I've just, you know, had 200 hours into it, but I, 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 I could use this excavator in pitch black and still do what, quite well with it, so I don't need light. <laughs> I, I just thought it'd be smart to finally bring that light over here, and um, obviously I'll slowly expand this out, and it will actually help you guys see. Uh, not that you see much of the digging aspect of this game, because, well, it's a lot like watching paint dry. Um, it's just this over and over again, and over again, and over again. Uh. Uh. What? What was that? Why? Uh, uh, what? Where did it go? There's... I mean, you could have at least took the crate when I didn't fill it. It takes forever to fill these things, and those moss mats are expensive. Why do the crates hate me in this game? Like, I never had a crate issue up until, like, what, two episodes ago? Where did it go? That's my third crate! It was my final one! You know what? I want to buy new ones anyways. Those ones are freaking possessed. And after a night of mining, it looks like I think this is going to be my final dump truck before our first cleanout. I'm excited to see if this new piece of upgrade is worth the 600... Sorry, 700k that I paid. But yeah, 
Um, no big issues throughout the, the actual mining. Obviously having a hard time kind of reaching down here, but uh, obviously when you're digging this deep, it's always a little bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, but yeah, we pushed back the wall a bit, as you can see, uh, judging by the light. That was right by the wall when I started, so it's always fun to see the slow progress of moving dirt in this game. But yeah, I'm more excited to see how much gold is in this ground. I actually didn't check the ground today. I know the vein goes down this way, so I gotta assume it's gonna be a pretty good payday. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to go as deep as possible, as you can see. I might be able to get a little bit deeper, but uh, with this weird hill that I'm on, it makes uh, actually getting this really, really difficult. Now, the interesting thing about this new planter, I already forget the name of it, uh, is it actually only uses one bucket, as you can see. So, um, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, the, the less buckets I have to transport, the better. Uh, obviously, hopefully, though, this one bucket is better than these two over here. Uh, but yeah, same idea as the other one. I mean, the water just rolls on top and then goes through what I'm assuming is some sort of grate system. Uh, and then out at the bottom pops the good stuff. It also has the bellows that we saw in, I believe, the tier two one. So these things will probably break down a lot like that one did. But knock on wood, it hasn't broke down yet. I mean, we've only done one clean out though. Well, we're gonna do one clean out by the end of these two dump trucks full. Oh, hey, look, my, my possessed crate's back. Great. I don't know where the hell you went for a full day, but I'm glad to see you back and you made a mess of the freaking place. You're just gonna stay over there for the time being. I don't want to deal with you anymore. All right, let's see if this uh, upgrade is worth it here. So this is the upgraded bucket. I still have to clean out all, all the moss mats and what, whatnot, but what I'm really curious about with this clean out is how much of an upgrade this thing was. So we're gonna compare these two, which is the old planter versus this one bucket. Obviously, if those two are less than this, then it was a, an upgrade that's worthwhile. 9,000 grams of magnetite, that's actually pretty good. Um, let's see what the other ones yield. All right, 4,000 in that, so that makes sense. We added close to 10,000, so it sounds to be like a 25%-ish upgrade, 20-ish, something like that. I don't know, my, my math isn't perfect. All right, so let's do the two planter buckets first, and we'll see how much gold that gives us. All right, first bucket, clearly we didn't have a very good run there. 289 grams of gold, this should be 289 as well. And yes, indeed it was. So that gives us a grand total of 578. Well, 579 almost. So compared to this, let's see how much of an upgrade tier four is. Okay, and that gave us 713. So that's a pretty big difference. 578 to 713 just by the upgraded equipment. So yeah, that's about a 19% upgrade. So as I said, 20%. Um, is it worth it? I mean, obviously not in the short run, but in the long run, 600k really isn't that much money when you're earning as much as I do per day. All right, well, let's clean out the rest of this. That was just exciting to see. So, seems to be about a 20% upgrade. I wonder if that's for all the equipment or if that's just the planter buckets per tier. God damn it, there's always 1% left in the damn system. Um, so yeah, I gotta waste a whole new bucket just to get that little 1% out, but hey, every little bit counts. All right, so... Obviously, I don't think this is gonna be the best cleaner ever. How much makes sense on that? 2,519 and 1%. <laughs> but regardless, it still should be a pretty good payday. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what's inside these. You know what, let's turn on this one. This is the top grade bucket. We'll get that going through as we're cleaning out the other buckets. And we almost earned a whole bucket of magnetite today. We started with about 25% in the original bucket, I think. Um, 19,000 in that, so compared to the 30 that we had, I believe, in the first clean out, yeah, clearly we're on some worse ground. And we got 873 grams in that first bucket. So yeah, this is actually a pretty bad clean out, all things considered. Uh, the problem is the ground's getting really, really deep now. Like if you saw over there, we're done here. So let's just go back over here. We'll see how much gold we get out of that bucket. But yeah, we don't need to do anything over there. It's just, it's so hard. I don't know if I can see through this right now. Um, let me actually get in the excavator. What do we get? 1576 grams. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, again, though, a 3,000, almost 4,000 gram gold payout for one clean out really isn't that good anymore. But hey, they all can't be good. Usually I can see through the ground with this. So yeah, it's just, it's so hard to get down to the good stuff now because of how deep the bedrock is. Um, so yeah, I'd love to obviously get the front end loader in here. It's just, it is a small nightmare to dig that deep and get to the flat ground. So, I don't know, maybe I'll have to buy a second Frankenstein and put it in the hole here, bring the excavator down into this hole as well and dig deeper. Uh, that is one strategy, that or I could bulldoze it, but the bulldozer sucks in this game. 
So there's really no easy way to get down to the deep stuff right now, and unfortunately, this hill just keeps going up. Looks like it might go down a little bit, but it goes up higher over here. I, I don't know. Regardless, we're still earning lots of gold, but obviously I'd like to get to that vein and get as much gold as possible. But yeah, we're going to wrap it up here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, testing what a Tier 4 upgrade is like compared to a Tier 3. That was actually pretty fun. And yeah, it's always fun to be digging in the ground, getting some gold out of it, and making lots and lots of money. Now, i got to pay off that damn loan, but uh, I don't know if I should pay off that before I buy the next upgrade. Uh, because we have one more upgrade now, and then we're maxed out, man. We have the best stuff in this game, uh, which is always exciting. But yeah, we'll do that in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.